Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem that uh, deals with systems of equations and specifically just determining whether given solutions or given possible solutions are the actual solution to a system of equations. And <clears throat> this is uh, uh, this problem actually comes specifically from uh, CPM um, and this is uh, course three. Um, this is section 7.1.2. Um, and so, first of all, systems of equations, right? Systems of equations are, are two equations that we are looking for the one solution, the X and Y solution, the XY pair that works for both equations, right? Um, graphically, what does this look like? Graphically, this would be if I had, um, here, let me draw if i had my coordinate system here my x and my y and i was looking for the place where say here was one equation and here's the other equation they graph lines i'm looking for that spot right there the place where they cross right graphically it's the place where they cross algebraically it's where the the answers are the same right, where uh, my X and Y work for this equation and this equation at the same time. So I could graph them and find the answer that way if I wanted to, or I could also use the um, substitution method, the uh, equal values method where I solve for Y and set them equal to each other and solve that way. But because they've given me these possible answers over here, I know actually, in fact, one of these, each one of these, lines up with each one of these i'm going to use this idea of if that's the case if this is a possible x y for one of these i'm going to use those numbers and find the one that works right so if i start off with a and a I'll just give myself some room i'll rewrite it 6x minus y is equal to 4 and the other equation i'm going to put them side by side instead of up on top of each other so 3x plus y equals 5. So if I attempt to plug in, say, this one first here, let's try 0, negative 4. So what does that mean? Remember, it's x comma y. So I'm going to put that 0 into that x there, so 6 times 0, and negative 4 into the y, minus negative 4. Does that equal 4? That's what I need to figure out. So 6 times 0 is 0. 0 minus a negative really becomes plus 4, right? Add the opposite. So sure enough, yeah, that's true. Zero plus four does equal four. So it works for this one, but that doesn't guarantee it's the right answer. I still have to check it. It's got to work for both of them. So let me put a zero in here. So three times zero plus <clears throat> um, three times zero plus, what do I have for Y? Negative four. Does that equal five is the question. So if I look, I'm going to go three times zero, zero, zero plus negative four. Does zero plus negative four equal positive five? Uh, no, it does not, right? That, those are not equal. So it worked for one, but it didn't work for the other. Uh, so it's not the solution. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's not the solution. So now I'm going to try the next one. So the next one is three comma seven. So let's try that. So if I put in three seven into each of these will it work right so i'm still using the same equation so there's my equations so i'm going to plug them into the original two equations so three now into x remember this is x comma y so three goes into the x i'm going to say six times three minus seven does that equal four okay i want to know does that equal four so i look in i go say six times three is 18 18 minus seven does it equal four uh, no, it does not, right? 18 minus 7 is 11, and 11 does not equal 4. So at that point right away, I don't need, even need to check this one over here. If it doesn't work for this one, it's not going to be the answer. So let me check the last one. The last one is uh, 1, 2. So again, that's my x, that's my y. So I'm going back into the original equation. So 6 times 1 minus 2, does that equal 4? So 6 times 1 is 6. 6 minus 2 equals 4, right? So that does check out. 6 minus 2 is 4. So let's check this one over here. So I'm going to put in 3 times 1, right? So wherever the x is, is a 1. 
wherever the y is, is a 2. So 3 times 1 plus 2. Does that equal 5? So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 2, sure enough, it equals 5. Check. Awesome. Bing, bing, bing. Well, had to go through them all, but I figured out that this is the solution to A. Okay. So the solution to A is the 1, 2. So that wasn't it. That wasn't it. But that one was. So that's the process. So let's look at, let's try B. So B, again, B, I'm going to write out uh, next to each other. So B, the, I'll just write it out on this paper so you can see it here. So it's X equals Y plus 4. And the other one is 2X plus 3Y equals negative 12. So uh, I know it's not 1, 2 because I already used that one up. So let's try, let's go up and try the 0, uh, negative 4. So if I try 0, negative 4, again, your X and your Y, does 0 equal negative 4 plus 4? Is that true? Yeah, that's true. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0, and that those are equal. So check, that one worked. So then let's try it over here. 2 times 0 plus 3 times negative 4, does it equal negative 12? So 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus negative 12, does that equal negative 12? Sure does, check. All right, sweet. So we ended up with the, the right one. So process of elimination, then the part C would be, so I, I've already used up the 0, 4. I've used up 1, 2. So this one has to be this, right? But let's just double check it. So it would be 5 times, remember that's my X, that's my Y. So 5 times 3 minus 2 times 7 does it equal 1? So I'm checking the first equation, putting in the 3, 0, and the x and the y. So that's 15 minus 14. 15 minus 14, sure enough, does equal 1. So it checks out for that one. So let's check this one. So this one would be, this y is 7. So 7 equals 2 times the x is 3, 2 times 3 plus 1. Is that true? Yeah, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 1 is 7. So yeah, that works out as well. So the solution to C is 3, 7. So, so I've got my answers there for each of those and my reasons why.